hi everyone welcome to another video of ns pharma in this video we will study about the previous year questions of isro pharmacist we already covered 30 questions in the previous videos so here we will start from the 31st question okay the question is in order to produce characteristic pharmacological action a drug must always in order to produce characteristic pharmacological action a drug must always option a reach high blood level option b absorb from gat tract tract readily option c achieve adequate concentration at the site of action option d excreted unchanged in urine the correct answer is as you know option c is the correct answer achieve it should achieve adequate concentration at the site of action question number 32 heparin prevents blood coagulation by what is the mechanism heparin prevents blood coagulation by options are inhibiting thrombin catalyzed conversion of fibrinogen into fibrin Option B, precipitate blood calcium thereby prevent co coagulation reaction. Option C, inhibiting enzyme reaction. Option D, converting ionized calcium by chelation. The correct answer is option A. This is the mechanism behind heparin, uh, which will prevent the blood coagulation by inhibiting the thrombin catalyzed conversion of fibrogen, fibrinogen to fibrin. Question number 33. Uh, which of the following which is which of the following is an anti metabolite anti metabolite options are fluorouracil option b nitrogen mustard option c cyclophosphamide option d chlorambucil in the previous video i already told for this exam you had to study classification very well this one this question is also came from the classification classification of uh, drugs for the cancer so the correct answer, the anti-metabolite is, option is fluorouracil, option A is the correct answer. So we will see the different anti-metabolite here. The anti-metabolite fluorouracil which is a pyrimidine antagonist, okay. Anti-metabolites, they are of three types. One is a folate antagonist, folate antagonist. Uh, second one purine antagonist purine antagonist third one pyrimidine antagonist okay so this is the three types of uh, anti-metabolite folate antagonist example is methotrexate mtx methotrexate okay second one is purine antagonist for the purine antagonist the uh, uh, example is 6 mercaptopurine 6 mercaptopurine and 6 thiaguanine okay this is the example for purine metabol purine antagonist the pyrimidine antagonist is example is 5 fluorouracil that is fluorouracil here then cytarabine cytarabine so okay these are the different anti metabolites now we will see the next question question number 34 Question number 34. Selective beta 2 bronchodilator used for the treatment of status asthmaticus. Okay. The selective beta 2 bronchodilator used for the treatment of status asthmaticus is options are acetylcholine, option B iso isoetharine, option C terbutaline, option D derabutrol. The correct answer is terbutarine. Option C is the correct answer. Next one, question number 35. Question number 35, belladonna alkaloid, belladonna alkaloid, that is atropin, is used prior to administration of a general anesthetic agent. Is used prior to administration of a general anesthetic agent due to, options are, Inhibition of GIT motility, option B prevention of meiosis, option C inhibition of salivation and secretion of respiratory tract, option D uh, causing skeletal muscle relaxation. The correct answer for this question is question 35 option is C 
belladonna alkaloid that is atropine is used prior to administration of general anesthetic agent due to inhibition of salivation and secretion of respiratory tract okay option question number 36 drug of choice in amoebic dysentery options are penicillin g neridazole option c metronidazole option d tetracycline the correct answer is metronidazole option c is the correct answer now 37 clinically used uricosuric agent what is uricosuric agent uricosuric agents are used for the treatment of chronic gout or hyperuricemia and they are the drugs which will promote the excretion of uric acid okay Uricos, uric agents are will promote excretion of uric acid so example uh, what is the example for uricosuric agent options are diazepam sulfinpyrazone phenylbutazone phenytoin the correct answer is sulfinpyrazone so another example is uh, propanazid this is also a uric uh, uricosuric agent which is used for the treatment of propanazid which is used for the treatment of gout uh, chronic gout or hyperuricemia now we will move to the next question that is question number uh, 38 question number 38 the metal used in the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis the metal used for in the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis options are silver gold copper antimony I return here antimony because uh, some people don't know what you mean by SB so that's why I put antimony so which metal is used for the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis correct answer is gold option B gold is the correct answer question number 39 the drug which is very effective in the treatment of acute gout is options are aspirin acetaminophen that is paracetamol option c phenylbutazone option d indomethacin correct answer is indomethacin indomethacin okay nsids we are using for the treatment of acute gout but indomethacin is more preferred choice question number 40 <coughs> anti-tubercular drug inhibiting rna synthesis anti-tubercular drug which will inhibit rna synthesis is options are streptomycin ethambutyl chloramphenicol rifampicin the correct answer for this question is option d rifampicin rifampicin will inhibit rna synthesis that is the mechanism of action of rifampicin question number 41 anti-tubercular drug inhibiting protein synthesis with potential for autotoxic effect autotoxic effect is anti-tubercular drug inhibiting protein synthesis with a potential for autotoxic effect options are ethambutol, dapsone, streptomycin, isony acid the correct answer is streptomycin streptomycin has got streptomycin is an amino glycoside which has got uh, autotoxic and nephrotoxic side effect autotoxic and nephrotoxic side effect okay dapsone is used in case of uh, leprosy not an anti-tubercular drug and uh, ethambutol ethambutol causes optic neuritis this is also important it will cause optic neuritis okay optic neuritis streptomycin will cause autotoxicity as well as nephrotoxicity then inh that is isony acid isony acid is will cause peripheral neuritis and hepatitis peripheral neuritis and these are the side effect of uh, anti-tubercular drug uh, peripheral neuritis and, uh, and hepatitis okay these are very important okay next one question number 42 dapson we already studied which will cause uh, uh, hemolytic anemia in case of G6PD deficiency. Okay, question number 42. Methotrexate is an antagonist of this one. We already studied before. Options are clobalamin, option C, folic acid, option C, riboflavin, option D, tocopherol. Correct answer is folic acid. 42. Correct answer is option B. Next one. Question number 43. All are the side effects of chloroquine except all are the side effects of chloroquine except options are blurring of vision, hemolytic anemia, psychotic episodes, skin rashes. The correct answer is option B that is hemolytic anemia. Question number 44 antidote of organophosphorus poisoning. Simple question 
ഓർഗന ഫോസ്ഫറസ് പോയിസനിങ് ആന്റിഡോക് ഓപ്ഷൻസ് ആർ നൈട്രസ് ഓക്സൈഡ് അച്ഛൻ അലോൾ അട്രോപ്പ് ഇൻ ട്യൂബർ ട്യൂബോക്കുറാൻ കറക്റ്റ് ആൻസർ ഇസ് ഓപ്ഷൻ സി അട്രോപ്പിൻ ഫോർട്ടി ഫൈവ് Uh, which of the following agent is a choline esterase reactivator this is an important question and the simple question choline esterase reactivator is pralidoxine aspirin pilocarpine scopolamine and pralidoxine the correct answer is pralidoxine question number 46 drug of choice in the treatment of cardiogenic shock cardiogenic shock diosgenin epinephrine dopamine ovabine correct answer is dopamine 46 question option c is the correct answer now for 47 the choice of drug drug of choice to treat cerebral malaria cerebral malaria options are mepacrine amodiaquin quinin primaquin the correct answer for this question for the cerebral anemia amal cerebral malaria drug of choice is quinin quinin one important question from this anti malarial drug is Uh, the, from the classification itself four amino quinolins and eight amino quinolins the question will be which one of the following is uh, which one of the following is an amino quinolin anti malarial drug like that it will come so we have to study these two items four amino quinolin classification here i will write in this uh, anti malarial classification two types uh, uh, two uh, types out of uh, different types two types are four amino quinolin type pure four amino quinolin and second one eight amino quinolin or other items are also there other category is also there but uh, right now i am writing these two because these are very important examples are very important four amino quinolin and eight amino quinolins four amino quinolins example is chloroquine amodiocin piperaquin but eight amino quinolin is primaquin okay prima quin is a, an example for eight amino quinolin and tafenoquin okay tafenoquin these are the eight amino quinolin and four amino quinolin is normally using um, uh, amodiocin chloroquin piperaquin okay question number 48 question number 48 all of the following statement concerning sulfonamide are correct except options are all of the following statement concerning sulfonamides are correct except inhibited dihydrofolate reductase crystalluria may occur they are anti metabolites of baba they are bacteriostatic option a is the correct answer here correct answer means the it is the, the statement is wrong sulfonamides normally inhibit folate synthase enzyme okay folate synthase enzyme the folate dihydrofolate reductase is inhibited by trimethoprim okay yeah, trimethoprim will inhibit dihydro dihydrofolate reductase and sulfonamide will inhibit folate synthase okay now 49 question number 49 question number 49 optic neuritis is a chief adverse effect of this one already we covered uh, options are sulfa drug rifampicin pyrazinamide ethambutol the correct answer is 49 d is the correct answer next question question number 50 which of the following is not a macrolide antibiotic all the questions are coming from the classification of the uh, drugs so you had to study this classification very well So the question is which of the following is not a macrolide antibiotic options are erythromycin then uh, spiramycin then uh, oleandomycin then vancomycin the correct answer is vancomycin vancomycin is a it is not a macrolide antibiotic but which is a vancomycin is a glycopeptide antibiotic okay all others are macrolide antibiotic